All right, thanks, Andrew. Louisiana's governor getting a look at areas of the state hit by wildfires. The governor saying afterward that nobody alive in Louisiana has ever seen drought conditions this severe. Democrat John Bell Edwards adding he doesn't think it's ever been this hot for this long in the state. It's estimated more than 450 fires have burned this summer across the state. More than 50 wildfires ignited in a single weekend. This week in Louisiana Agriculture's Carl Wiggers takes us to Sabine Parish, the site of just one of those fires. Wayland Salter is surveying the damage of his fence that stood no chance from the fiery blaze that stormed through these trees into his pasture. However, as Salter explains, this open field is where local and Forest Service firefighters could turn the tide on this wildfire. Whenever the fire is in the timber, in the tops of the trees, it's almost impossible to do anything with it on the ground. You have to fight that from the air. But it, once it gets out in the open like this, that's what they're really trained to do, and they can get ahead of it. Before the fire made it to his pasture, this is the ominous view Salter watched from his driveway on Sunday afternoon. Salter says his first thought was to take care of his cattle. My main focus was getting the cattle out, of course, and I had a plan for that. It turned out to really not be that big of an issue because once the fire got out here in the open, the fire department and the forest service, they, was, they, they got ahead of it really quick. And, and since then, a lot of it has been just hot spots, trees that have been on fire and they, they produce embers. And that's what some of this is over here from yesterday. Salter says the conditions around his property have been so dry, but he was pleased with the amount of grass that he still had available for his cattle. This fire changed that. Probably 30 or 40 percent of the pasture was still sort of green and palatable to the cattle. The rest of it has turned, you know, kind of golden and brown. It's stockpiled, so they'll still graze it, but most of the, the good grazing, it actually got burned in the fire. That's why he was especially thankful to walk out into this field Monday morning to see this hay barn still standing. There's usually almost always a way around everything. Sometimes you get to the point to where there just are no options. Now, for instance, if that hay barn had burned with the hay in it, that would have been a wrap. It would have been time to call Superior and get the trailers over here. For now, the cattle are soaking up the shade and recovering from a stressful few days. In Sabine Parish, I'm Carl Wiggers for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture.